Welcome to the Academy. My name is George Lundgren, the art teacher at Countryside Elementary School in Edina, Minnesota. Today our lesson is going to focus on finishing a dragonfly painting using the element of art line. Our lesson and objective is using that line to create repetition and understand the difference between repetition and pattern. So first we'll look at pattern. A pattern is a design that repeats in a regular fashion. So the first two lines here the pattern is dictated by color. You can see that I've used red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, etc. finishing that pattern out. The second pattern is the cool colors, green, blue, violet, green, blue, violet, etc. and that pattern finishes out to the end. Our third pattern is dictated primarily by shape. You see I have a square, circle, square, circle, square, circle, whereas the color remains constant, violet. The third pattern is both dictated by color and shape. So I have a violet square, blue circle, violet square, blue circle, and that pattern continues out to the end. So if we look at another picture now and think about the idea of repetition. Repetition is to repeat an element in such a way as to make a visual statement. That visual statement idea is different than say pattern, rhythm, or unity. Repetition can be used to create pattern, rhythm, or unity. However, it can also be used not to create any of those principles and just to be reused as repetition on its own. So if we look at this picture of this dragonfly and more specifically look at the picture of this wing, you'll notice that little lines are repeated all the way through this dragonfly's wings to make up the texture in the dragonfly wing. Now, those little lines that are repeated do not create a pattern, they don't create a rhythm, and they do not create unity in the whole composition. Therefore, we've used this line, or nature has used this line, to create repetition. And the repetition looks pleasing because of the way that it's been organized. None of the shapes are the same, and none of the lines are the same. Likewise, if we look at this picture, um, we get a sense of a dragonfly different from other insects. Most insects have that kind of icky insect thing going on with them, whereas dragonflies are beautiful because of their colors and their delicate um, nature to their wings. So if we look closer at the wings here, you can see that they're transparent and see-through. And you can notice again the lines creating the um, wing shape here and the lines creating the veins of the wings are delicate and the wings almost appear transparent. Um, the lines don't create any kind of pattern. They don't create any kind of rhythm. They're just repeated lines. And in this final picture, you can see this is a great example of repetition because not only do we have little repeated lines in the wings, but we also have repetition in the top of this flower. We have repetition in the petals on the flower. And the only place we actually have repetition and pattern turning into a pattern is right here on the abdomen of the dragonfly. So in our demonstration, if we look to what we are looking for in our painting. Um, look at the dragonfly wings here. Notice the thin lines that kind of create that vein-like transparency that we saw in the photographs. So as we move through here, here's my example that we'll use for the demonstration. And I take an ultra fine point sharpie and I start to draw various lines. Those lines are thin, they don't necessarily connect, and every single one of them is different. There's not one that creates a pattern. They're not regular, they're not all in the same place, they don't have the same size or the same shape. I've made them all different. Now, I'm repeating lines, I'm repeating the idea of the lines, and you can see that both sides are going to look similar, okay? But they won't be creating a pattern. There won't be any rhythm to them exactly like rhythm might show up in a picture. The only place that I use pattern is right at the end when I get to the abdomen, just like that one picture we saw at the end. So right here I use some ovals, even though they're a little different sized, um, I set them up into a pattern. So we have repetition in the wings and the eyes, but the only place that we have pattern is right here on the abdomen. So thank you for joining me today, finishing off our dragonfly picture using the element of line and using that to create repetition in the wings and pattern on the abdomen of our dragonfly.